morning. We're going to go ahead and do our last English lesson for the week. We're going to look at lesson 25. We're still talking about common nouns, special plurals, because you know, yesterday we were talking about uh, singular or plural, singular meaning one, plural meaning more than one. So today, yesterday we were going over the different spelling and phonics rules over changing some words to, from singular to plural. Most of them you can just put an S on or sometimes an ES. Uh, sometimes you have to change the Y to an I and all that kind of stuff. Other times the whole word has to change. So look at the top of page 49. There's a purple box up, up there. Do you see the word knife? Okay, knife is singular. That's just one. But what if you had plural? You had more than one. You wouldn't say, hand me all those knives, would you? No, you would say knives. Notice what they've done to knife and wife and leaf and wolf. A lot of those they, that end in F or LF or FE, they'll change the F to a V and add ES in order to make it plural. Okay, sounds better to our ears, in fact. Okay, look at the other ones in the middle. Goose, tooth, and foot. Notice that all of those have two O's. Okay, and then to make them plural, they change the two O's to two T's. So goose becomes geese, tooth becomes teeth, and foot becomes feet. All right, look at the ones on the right. Sometimes the word has to change in a great big way. So you have the word mouse. Well, if you have more than one mouse, it becomes mice. Okay, and then you have woman becomes women. We even say it differently. Child becomes children, man becomes men. Look at ox. Ox becomes oxen. A lot of times you'll be surprised when you find, especially these little tiny words, and you'll find when they become plural, they look way different. You didn't know that. Now there are even some nouns that never change. They're either plural or they're singular. And you have to look at all the words around them in the sentence to determine which one they are. And that would be deer, moose, elk, sheep, and fish. Those are just some of the ones that just stay either way. And you have to figure, you have to read the sentence in order to figure out if it's singular or plural. Okay, so with all of that, let's look at the guided practice. There's one, two, and three that I'm going to help you with. And then the rest of the guided practice, I'm going to have you do yourself to make sure you understand. All right, on number one, it wants us to fill in the circle next to the sentence that's written correctly. Okay, there were four gooses in the pond. There were four geese in the pond. Which one's right? That would be the second one. Okay, fill in the second bubble. And number two, several women attended the missionary meeting. Several women's attended the missionary meeting. It'd be the first one. There's no such thing as woman's, woman's, that way, plural. What about two oxes were stuck in the ditch? Two oxen were stuck in the ditch. It would be the second one, because plural for ox is oxen. Good deal. All right, so I want you to pause it just for a second, finish the rest of the guided practice, and then I'll give you the answers and let you check this part before you do the other page. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the answers up here for you, okay? Okay, here's the guided practice. Now check and make sure you got these right. Okay, so your assignment today for a grade is gonna be page 50. You're gonna be doing the same thing. Now on the apply and write, it's gonna want you to write several sentences about sheep. Try to write maybe two or three sentences, and every time you use the word sheep as a singular noun, underline it. But then when you use it as a plural noun, circle it, okay? All right, now if you have any questions or you're not understanding any of this or you're having some problems with something, you type me a note on Google Classroom and I'll be happy to help, okay? That's all for today.